The James Webb Space Telescope has made an extraordinary discovery by capturing the first ever detailed images of disk winds, streams of gas that blow away from protoplanetary disks, the regions of swirling gas, and dust around young stars where planets are born. This discovery has enormous implications for understanding how stars and planetary systems like our own solar system form. By the end of this video, you'll see how this breakthrough helps us solve one of astronomy's most puzzling mysteries. How the gas and dust surrounding young stars evolve into a fully-fledged planetary system. So, let's start with a big question. How do stars and planets form from the swirling gas and dust around young stars? The James Webb Telescope recently captured stunning images of disk winds, which are streams of gas that blow away from these planet-forming disks. Magnetic fields drive these winds, which can reach speeds of tens of miles per second. But why does this matter? The key to understanding planet formation lies in something called angular momentum. Imagine a figure skater. When they pull their arms in, they spin faster, but they slow down when they stretch them out. This is how angular momentum works. For gas in a protoplanetary disk to move toward a young star and help it grow, it needs to lose some of that momentum. If not, the gas would keep orbiting the star forever and never fall onto it. This is where disk winds come in. Webb's observations suggest that these winds are crucial in carrying away angular momentum, allowing the remaining gas to flow inward and feed the growing star. Without these winds, the gas would sit there in orbit, and planets wouldn't form. So, in simple terms, disk winds help young stars grow by shaping their surrounding disks and enabling planetary formation. Webb's high sensitivity allowed astronomers to track these winds in fine detail. They found a layered, conical structure, similar to the layers of an onion, with the fastest winds closest to the star and slower winds farther out. These winds act like a cosmic recycling system, helping to regulate how much gas stays in the disk to form planets and how much is blown away into space. Let's talk about the engines behind these winds' magnetic fields. Think of these fields as invisible forces that push gas out of the disk, almost like a slingshot. Webb's observations show that these winds originate from a broad region, from the inner part of the disk, where rocky planets like Earth form, to farther out where gas giants like Jupiter might emerge. This means that magnetic fields influence the formation of all kinds of planets, not just one type. There are actually different types of disk winds at play here. For example, X-winds are powerful magnetic winds that blow material from the inner edge of the disk. But there are also thermal winds, which are slower and driven by intense starlight rather than magnetic fields. These thermal winds act farther out in the disk, gently eroding the outer layers over time. If too much gas is blown away by these winds, there may not be enough material left to form giant planets like Jupiter or Saturn. But if the winds aren't strong enough, the disk could collapse too quickly, and only minor planets might form. So, the balance between these magnetic and thermal winds determines the kind of planetary system that emerges. Researchers have even observed that these winds stretch out hundreds of times the distance between Earth and the Sun. This gives us an idea of just how vast and powerful these forces are. It's like watching a cosmic storm unfold, and these winds are shaping the future planets in their path. One exciting future direction is comparing these findings to what we've learned from other observatories like the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA, and the Hubble Space Telescope. These telescopes have provided snapshots of other star-forming regions, but they didn't have the resolution to capture the fine details of disk winds. And that's not all. The role of disk winds in exoplanet formation is also becoming more transparent. Disk winds influence not only the formation of planets, but also their atmospheres. By removing gas and dust from the environment, these winds can determine whether a planet has a thick atmosphere like Venus or a thin one like Mars. In fact, 
Webb's findings suggest that disk winds could play a role in making planets habitable by regulating the amount of gas that surrounds them. This discovery also ties into our understanding of planetary atmospheres. As researchers like Dr. Uma Gorty from the SETI Institute have pointed out, gas dispersal in these disks limits the time frame for planet formation. The sooner the gas is blown away, the faster planets need to form. This helps us understand why some star systems might have more rocky planets like Earth, while others might have more gas giants. But we're just scratching the surface. By studying more protoplanetary disks with Webb, we might even be able to observe how these winds evolve over time, giving us a front row seat to the birth of new planets. This will be key to understanding not just how planets form, but how entire planetary systems like our own solar system came to be. Thanks for watching. If you found this as fascinating as I did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic insights. See you next time.